arrive on their mat. Let's take a second, clear the space around you. If you have any blocks um, or soup cans, since we're all at home, um, if you want to use soup cans instead of blocks, if you don't have yoga blocks uh, at your home, then those also work as well. And we'll just take a second to arrive on the mat. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable. You can leave your eyes open, palms coming to the thighs. You can have your palms down or your palms facing up. And I just wanted to start uh, the class today with a little bit of, you could say intention or a thought. Um, I read something really interesting today that it was a quote that basically said um, to reconsider what our normal was before we've all been forced out of our um, daily routines. And just to kind of reconsider like what our normal was before and what aspects of that normal we really want to rush back to. So kind of bringing that idea onto our mats today and just think about, you know, what you were doing in your life before these times. Um, and just really like take an inventory of the stuff that you are rushing, wanting to rush back to and the stuff that you've kind of come to realize that wasn't really serving you or, you know, you can do without and you've made space for new things that you are enjoying that you're doing now. Um, and when we're, do, when we're in our practice, try to use our breath to move through that stale energy. So using the inhales to really like break up that old energy and bring in new, fresh life and movement. And then an exhale to just kind of like let it go and let all the stuff that doesn't, wasn't serving you before and is not serving you now go. So we'll just come to close our eyes and just start with a few conscious breaths thinking about that. Just taking a few breaths to start. Just notice how your breath is moving right now without trying to change it. And then we'll start taking a few conscious deep breaths in and out. So on our inhale, we're gonna expand the belly out and breathe down into the bottom of the abdomen. And then exhale drawing the belly in. Inhale, breathing deep into the belly. Exhale, drawing the belly in. Take two more like that. Just gently bringing the breath back to a steady, comfortable pace. If your eyes are closed, you can rub the palms of your hands together, cover the eyes, and slowly blink your eyes open. We'll just start with a few circles through the spine as we're staying seated. Hands coming to the fronts of the knees. And using your hands to move through the spine and then go the other way oh my god this is so nice i can actually see the sunset from here it's so beautiful and at the end of your next circle we'll just come onto all fours and we're going to shift the hips back into a child's pose we'll start in today so the we'll take a wide leg child's pose the toes can come to touch and the knees can come wide as wide as the mat, sit the hips back, and it doesn't matter if your hips don't touch your heels, that's totally fine, and we'll just walk the hands out in front of us on the mat. Take a few breaths here in wide like a child's pose, and then we'll slowly walk the hands to the right side of the mat, keeping the chest down. Reach out through the left fingertips, stretching through the left side body. And try to keep both hips sinking to the mat as you move the arms to the right. One more inhale. 
inhale. And on your exhale, slowly walk the hands over to the left hand side of the mat, reaching out through the right fingertips. Both sits bones pressing back. Take one more inhale here. And exhale, slowly walk the hands to center and shift the weight forward, coming up. We're gonna sit back on our heels with the knees together. And we're just gonna curl the toes under. So as you sit back on your heels, curl your toes under. You can try to use the, help your hands to curl under the baby toes. Just stretching out through the toes there. A movement that we don't often do may feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's fine. And we'll just roll through the wrists, warming up the wrists, shaking out the hands. Try to distract your mind from what's going on in your toes. <laughs> Just a few more breaths here. Stretching the wrists and shifting forward, releasing through the toes. You can tap the tops of the feet on the mat to release your toes. And then we'll just come into tabletop, rolling through the wrists, making circles. Shifting the hips forward, backwards. And we'll bring the tops of the hands onto the mat, so just stretching through the forearms. And bring your hands a little bit closer to your knees and sit back a little bit. Stretching through the fronts of the arms. And then we'll curl the hands, palms of the hands on the mat. Wrists are forward. And then shift the weight back, stretching through the backs of the forearms. And we'll come back to tabletop. Moving through our cat and cow. So starting with cow, we're gonna inhale Drop the belly, hips, sits bones shine up to the ceiling, chest is forward, gaze can come slightly up, stretching through the front of the neck, and exhale, curl, round the belly in, protract through the shoulder blades, pressing down through the palms of the hands, inhale, cow, And then at the top of your cat, just can move side to side. Take any movement that feels good for you here. You can do some more circles with the spine. You can shift the weight forward or back. We're gonna come into puppy stretch. So our um, feet and our hips are gonna stay where they are. And we're just gonna walk our hands out in front of us. If your chest doesn't come all the way to the mat, it's totally fine. If your chest does come to the mat, you can either take your chin or your forehead to the mat. Really pressing through the hands. And slowly coming back up to tabletop. We're gonna reach our right hand up to the sky, opening through the right shoulder. And then on our exhale, we're gonna um, reach the right hand underneath the left arm, bringing the back of the right shoulder to the mat. Hips are staying lifted. And we're just coming into a puppy twist here. Your left hand can either come to your hip or come to the sky, or it can be straight out in front of you on the mat. Inhale, top hand reaches up to the sky. Place the left hand on the mat. 
reaching the right arm up, and right hand comes to the mat, moving to the left side. So inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, cross the left arm underneath the right, bringing the back of the left arm to the mat. Right hand is either staying on the mat, reaching up towards the sky. If you have a bind, you can take the bind, or the arm can just stay, reach in front of you on the mat. Really remember to use your breath here. And right arm coming down, left arm reaching up to the sky one more time. Left hand coming down. And then we're gonna reach the right foot straight to the back of the room and the left arm straight forward. So we'll just take a few breaths here, just holding this nice, long, straight spine. Draw the lower belly in and up, engage through your core. And we're going to inhale here. Exhale, we're just going to tap the toes and the fingertips on the mat. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap the fingers and the toes. Inhale, extend. I don't know how many that was, so one more. <laughs> and inhale, extend. Left hand comes to the mat. Right foot stays lifted. And we're going to cross the right foot over to the left side. Toes are going to come onto the floor or to the mat. Inhale, extend through the crown of your head, and exhale, gaze over your left shoulder at your right foot. You should feel this stretch in your side body, trying to keep the hips as level as possible so we're not letting one fly up or one come down. Just try to keep them level. And inhale to extend right foot back, bringing the right knee to the mat. Switching to the left side. So we'll inhale, extend the left foot back to the back of the room and the right hand forward. Inhale here. Take one more inhale, extend, and then on the exhale, we're just going to tap our toes and our fingers on the mat. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Keep drawing the lower belly in. Inhale, one more. Tap. Inhale, extend the arms and the leg. Right hand comes to the mat. Left leg is staying lifted. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left leg comes to the outside edge of the right mat, right side of the mat. Extend through the crown of your head, and exhale, gaze over your right shoulder at your left foot. Inhale, come back to center, and the left knee comes to the mat. So we're going to curl our toes, press up and back to our first downward facing dog. So hands pressing firmly, hands are shoulder distance apart and the feet are also hip or shoulder distance, about the same. You can step your feet back a little bit, it may feel like a little bit of a longer dog than you're used to. You can also bend through your knees. So we're not really focusing on getting the heels to the mat, we're just focusing on a nice long straight spine. Take a few breaths in down dog here. If you'd like to, if you don't want to rest in down dog, you can rest in child's pose. So taking that wide leg child's pose like at the beginning of the class 
or you can keep your knees together and the back so the arms can come to the mat, forehead, breasts down. And we'll, everybody will meet back in downward facing dog. I'm gonna move through some sun salutation. So inhale, rise to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, and slowly walk to the top of your mat. So you can take as many steps as you need to. When you arrive at the top, we're gonna inhale, halfway lift, spine extends long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So hands can be on the mat or they can come to your shins to extend the spine long. Exhale, plant the hands. Walk or step back to a high plank. We'll inhale here on our high plank. Make sure the shoulders are directly over the wrist. And exhale, lowering all the way down to the belly. So we'll just do a cobra for our first sun salutation. So hands are going to stay on the mat. Inhale, just rise the chest up a little bit. Tops of the feet and the legs are on the mat as well. Little to no weight in the hands, just using the strength of the back. Exhale, melt the chest down. Curl the toes, press up to a high plank, and straight back into your downward facing dog. Take two breaths here. On our next inhale, rise to the ball of the feet, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, walk, step, or hop back through chaturanga. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog, or you can take the cobra that we just did before. If you're taking upward facing dog, tops of the feet are on the mat, legs and hips are off the mat. And exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So just take one more of those a little bit quicker. Take one breath here. Exhale it all out. Inhale, rise to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, drive your chest forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, and we're just going to step back to downward facing dog. Take two breaths here in your down dog. On our next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg up to the sky, keeping the hips square. And then on our exhale, we're going to bring our knee to the back. Right knee to the back of the right arm. Tap it to the back of the right arm. Tap it to the back of the right wrist. Tap it to the back of the left wrist. And tap it to the back of the left arm. Shoot the right leg up and back, downward facing dog. And exhale, coming back through. Tap the knee to the nose. And we're gonna kick the right foot out to the left side of our mat. Left arm is gonna come up to the sky. So we're in fallen star here, fallen, yeah, fallen star. <laughs> so your right foot is kicking to the left side of the mat. Left arm is up in the sky. If you're feeling really strong here, you can 
Press down through the outside of your left foot to lift the right leg up off of the mat. Or you can just stay in your fallen star, hips to the sky. One more breath here. And on your exhale, place the left hand down, kicking the right foot up to downward facing dog. Taking two breaths in your down dog here. And we'll do that on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left knee to the back of the left arm, tap it. Tap it to the back of the left wrist. Tap it to the back of the right wrist. Tap it to the back of the right arm. Shoot it up and back, one more legged down dog. Exhale, bring the knee through. Tap it to your nose, and then kick the left foot out to the right side. Foot is coming to the mat, right arm is coming up to the sky. And we're in our fallen star on the other side. And again, if you're feeling really strong, you can press down through the right foot and the left hand, lifting the left foot up off the mat. One more inhale here. Exhale, right hand comes down. Coming back into our down dog. Take a big inhale here. And exhale, out your mouth. You can come down into child's pose for a second. Release the wrist. Hopefully we're feeling warm when I'm sweating. Take a second to look at the beautiful sunset. And we'll take one more breath here. And shifting forward, hips up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right foot up to the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the right hip. Shoulders are staying square to the mat. Inhale here. And exhale, bring the right foot between the hands at the top of the mat. Back knee is gonna come down. We're coming into a low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. So our left leg and left knee are on the mat, top of the Foot is also on the mat. Bending through the right knee. Right knee is stacked directly over the heel. And the hips are mounting forward. You can feel this in your left hip flexor, also maybe in your right hip flexor. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat or to blocks if you have them available to you. And we're gonna just shift the weight back into our left Leg, straightening out through the front leg, coming into a runner's lunge. Keeping the right foot flexed. Inhale, reach your chest up and forward, long spine. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale here. Exhale. Our next inhale, shift the weight forward into the right foot. And we're going to curl the left toes under. And we're going to press through the left leg, lifting the left knee up off the mat, coming into a high crescent lunge. So inhale, reach your arms all the way up. So we're in the same position as we were in in our low lunge, but our back leg is lifted now. If this is not comfortable for you, you're more than welcome to bring the knee back down and just work in the low lunge. If you're in high crescent lunge with me, your inhale, chest reaches up. And exhale, we're gonna turn the chest to the right side of the room. Arms are gonna come extending out. So left arm is forward and right arm is backwards. So we're coming into a revolved crescent lunge here. Keep pressing up through the back leg, revolving the chest open to the right side. 
Inhale here. And exhale, coming back to center. We're going to straighten through the front right leg and step the left leg in a little bit. So shorten your stance, so we're coming into pyramid pose. Hips are square to the front of the room, hands come to the hips. Inhale, chest is up tall. And exhale, keeping the spine long, folding over the front leg. Again, if you have blocks or soup cans, <laughs> you can bring those beside your right foot. Keeping the hips square, so the right hip is moving back in space and the left hip is moving forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chest long, hands come back to the hips. And inhale, chest all the way up to the top of the mat. And we're gonna take a revolved triangle here. So keeping the hips where they are, square to the front of the room. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Left arm reaches forward until you can't reach anymore. And then reaching to the outside of your right foot. If you have the blocks handy, bringing the block to the outside of the right foot. And the right hand can stay on the hip. Inhale here. Exhale to twist a little deeper. You should feel this all on the outside, the IT band of the right leg. And on your next exhale, hands come to the mat, bend through the front knee, and step the right foot back to meet the left. Do a chaturanga here, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. Just notice the difference in the sides in your right and left side. One may feel more open or totally not. Just noticing how you feel. And then we'll inhale, reach the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend through the left knee, open the left hip. Chest is staying squared to the mat. Inhale, reach the knee a little higher. And exhale, step the left foot forward to the front of the mat. Right knee comes down. Coming into a low lunge. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Taking a few breaths here. So the left hip is moving back in space and the right hip is moving forward, trying to keep the hips square. Inhale, chest reaches up. And exhale, bringing the hands to the mat, straightening out through the, through the left leg. If you have blocks handy, bringing the blocks with you. Flexing through the left foot. Inhale, chest is reaching forward. Spine is long. So we're trying not to round into the spine, trying to keep the chest up. And exhale, melt the chest over the left leg. Using our breath to move all that scale energy. Inhale and exhale, fold. On our next inhale, slowly bend through the left leg, walking the hands forward. And we're going to curl the right toes under. Press down through the right toes to straighten the right leg, bringing you up into high crescent lunge. Or if you'd like to, you can stay in that low lunge from before. Pressing up through the back of the right knee, bending through the left knee. Inhale, chest reaches up. And exhale, right hand is going to go forward. Left hand to the back of the room. 
and the chest is spiraling to the left side of the room. Hello, beautiful sunset again. <laughs> Inhale here. And exhale, bringing the hands back to center. Hands are going to come to our hips. And we're going to step the back, the right foot in a little bit, coming into a pyramid pose. So using the help of the hands to square the hips. Inhale, chest reaches up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, chest melting over the left leg. Hands can come down to the mat or to blocks. Trying to keep the spine long. One more inhale here. Exhale, fold. Hands come to the hips on your inhale. Engage through the inner thighs to bring the chest up. And we're going to reach the right hand up to the sky. And exhale, hinge over the leg. Right, right arm is reaching forward. And then when you're ready, coming to the outside of the left foot. Trying to track those hips. Track the left hip back and the right hip forward. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more inhale here. And exhale, hands come to the mat, bending through the left leg and stepping the left foot back, either moving through vinyasa or just meeting in um, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths in our down dog here. Shoulders away from the ears. Sits bones reaching up to the sky. Soften through the backs of the knees. On our next inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Coming into warrior two, so spiraling the left foot parallel to the back of your mat and bringing the arms up into warrior two, bending through the front right knee and trying to keep our chest directly over our hips so we're not reaching too far forward and we're not reaching backwards. So shoulders directly over the hips, bend through the front knee, gaze over the right hand, shoulders away from the ears. One more inhale here. Stay with it for the exhale. Inhale. Exhale, flip your right palm up to the sky and reverse your warrior, warrior. right hand reaching up to the sky, left hand coming down the back of the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. And our next inhale. Coming back to warrior two. You're going to bend through the right arm, bringing the right forearm to the right knee. Coming into side angle, so left arm reaching up or reaching forward to the front of the mat. I'm trying to keep the right and the left side bodies long. Inhale. Exhale, spiral the chest open. On your next inhale, these can come down and engage through the inner thighs, coming back to warrior two. Straighten through the front leg, coming into trikonasana. So right leg is straight, left leg is straight. Shift the hips back in space, reaching the right hand forward and tipping the right hand, either coming to the mat or to a block. Again, keeping both side bodies nice and long. So you want to have little to no weight in the right hand. Engage through the abdominals to keep you up. Inhale. Inhale, gaze can come down, bend through the right knee. 
Coming back to warrior two. And hands are going to spiral, come to the mat. Walk the right foot to the outer edge of your mat on the right hand side. The back leg can either stay lifted or you can bring the knee to the mat. It's totally up to you. So we're coming into dragon pose or lizard pose. So dragon is with the knee down and lizard is with the knee up. So you can stay on the hands here or if it's accessible to you, you can come down to the forearms. If you have a block, you can bring your forearms to a block or just stay up on the hands. You can also bring the block underneath your hands to bring the floor a little closer to you. Oops, someone's at my door. <laughs> Take one more inhale here, melt the hips down on your exhale and moving the block out of the way, pressing down through the hands, engage through the core, and lift the right foot up and back. Shake out the right leg, and right foot coming to the mat. Take a nice deep inhale here, and exhale. And our next inhale, reach the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bringing the left foot between the hands, spiraling the back foot, coming into warrior two, arms coming up. And again, trying to keep the shoulders directly over the hips, bending through the left knee. You want the knee directly over the heel, pressing down through the outside edge of your right foot. Engage through the inner thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. Take two more breaths here. See if you can sink a little bit lower into the left knee. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, flip the palm. And reverse your warrior. Left arm reaching up to the sky. Right arm coming down the back of the right leg. Inhale, coming back to warrior two. And exhale, left forearm coming to the left knee. Right arm spiraling forward to the front of the room or up to the sky. Chest is spiraling open to the left, or sorry, to the right. One more inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, gaze comes down. Arms bring you up, engage through the inner thighs, coming back to the other two. And inhale, straighten through the left leg. And inhale here. Exhale, reaching forward over your left leg. Left hand coming to the mat or to a block. You have that close to you, either on the inside or the outside of the leg, whatever feels better. Engage through the inner thighs, lengthen through both side bodies. Next inhale, gaze comes down. Bend through the left knee. Coming up to warrior two. And hands coming down to the mat. Walk the left foot out to the left side of the mat. Again, either Right knee is coming, staying up, or right knee is coming down. And sinking the hips towards the floor. Coming down onto the forearms, or to a block. Take two more breaths here. Next, inhale, press down through the palms of the hands and engage the core. Lift the left leg up and back to downward facing dog. Optional.
optional vinyasa here, so if you'd like to take a vinyasa, more than welcome. If not, just stay here in your down dog. If you're taking vinyasa, rock forward into high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. And we're going to slowly lower to the knees, coming to lay down on your belly. We're going to move into Sphinx pose and Cobra. So just starting in Sphinx. So the hips and the legs are down, tops of the feet are on the mat, forearms are on the mat, palms are down. And we're going to inhale, we're going to press down through the palms to drag the chest forward. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly melt the chest down. I said we were going to do cobra, but I was just kidding. We're not going to. We're going to come into locust pose. So arms are going to come alongside you. And on your inhale, you're going to engage the full back body to lift everything up. Pointing through the toes, arms lifting up, chest lifting. Hips are on the ground. Inhale. Squeeze everything up a little bit higher. And exhale, melt the chest down. Press the hips back, coming back into child's pose. And then shifting forward, coming back onto our bellies. This time the forehead is going to come to the mat and we're going to bend through the knees, reach back for the ankles. So try to take hold of the ankles if you can. And then we're going to flex through the feet. And on our inhale, we're going to do the same, engage the full back body to lift ourselves up. But this time the front of our legs are going to stay on the mat. Inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, press down. Use the strength of the legs to reach the chest up. Gaze can be just to the top of your mat. Inhale. And exhale slowly. Lower down. One cheek can come to the mat. Take a rest here. And moving to the other cheek. And pressing the hips back. Moving into child's pose one more time. Forward, coming into down dog just for one second, I promise. <laughs> and walking the feet to the middle of your mat. Feet are about mat distance apart. Heels are going to come in and toes are going to go out. And we're going to just sit our hips down into a squat. Malasana pose. So the hands can come to prayer at the chest. Chest is up tall. We're trying to make a nice long flat spine here. So try not to round as much as you can. If the hips don't come all the way down to the floor, you can sit up on a block. That'll give you nice room to open through the hips. Inhale here. And then slowly come into a wide, wide forward fold, so hips up to the sky, walk your feet in a little bit, hip distance, and just release the upper body here. You can grab opposite elbows, you can rock side to side. And slowly bring the hands to the mat, slowly roll up to standing, one vertebrae at a time, rolling the shoulders down and back, 
come to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Coming up onto the balls of the feet. Woo, I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> and exhale, slowly sit the hips down. Lowering down to the mat. You can hug your knees in and bring the bum to the mat. We're gonna come into boat pose, just coming to the middle of your mat. Sitting up tall in your sit bones, chest is tall. You can stay here with the feet on the mat, or you can inhale and lift the feet up. Try to keep the spine nice and long. Inhale here. And then on our exhale, we're just gonna open our boat, hover. Inhale, bend the knees, knees to chest. Exhale, open the boat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower for three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Two more. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, hover. Lower all the way to the mat. Just setting up for a bridge pose here, our last posture until we cool down. So we're gonna bend the knees, soles of the feet are gonna come to the mat, tips of the fingers are grazing the backs of the heels. And inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. You can interlace your fingers behind your back, pressing into the mat with your backs of your arms to lift the hips up, pressing down through the feet, Leaving space between your chin and your chest. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, slowly lower down. Let's take a second here. And then we'll come into a second round. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, lift the hips up. Pressing back down through the backs of the arms and the bottoms of the feet. To lift the hips high, engage through the legs, inhale, and exhale slowly, lower the hips. Knees can come to touch, and you can rock the knees side to side. Inhale, hug the knees into the chest. Knees come wide towards the shoulders. Taking either peace fingers on the big toes and the soles of the feet are gonna come up to the sky into happy baby. You can rock from side to side. Extend the Left leg out long if you like, keeping the right knee bent. Left leg out to the side. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, extend. Right leg out long to the side of the room. Coming back to center. Inhale, legs straight up to the sky. And just take a second, get the legs up in the air, letting the blood drain from the legs. If you have shoulder stand in your practice, you can take shoulder stand. Or if you'd like to move to a wall, you can walk the legs up the wall. And if you'd like to finish here, you can finish off practice with the legs up the wall. Or if you'd like to join me, we'll just take one twist. So right leg is gonna come long on the mat. Full of the left foot is gonna come to the top of the right leg. Shift the hips over to the left. And the left knee is gonna come to the right side. Gazing over your left shoulder. 
Coming into a supine twist here. If this is too much for you, you can keep both knees bent and just lower both knees to the right side. Slowly coming back up. And moving to the left side, so left leg extending long. I think our sunset fell. And <laughs> the left. So the right foot is coming to the top of the left leg, right knee coming to the left side, and gazing over the right shoulder. Slowly coming back to center and extending both legs long on the mat, coming into Shavasana. So, taking up as much space as you have available to you. Arms are nice and wide, legs are nice and wide, and relaxing into the floor. Melt the tongue away from the roof of your mouth, relax the jaw. If you have extra time, no one really has anywhere to go, so you can just enjoy this extra long shavasana. Or if you have other things planned, slowly start to wiggle the wrists and the fingers and the toes, bending the knees into the chest, and rolling over to one side. Take a second and slowly, carefully pressing down to lift yourself up into seated. Keeping the eyes closed if you can. And coming to sit on our mats. Taking a second to thank yourself for making time today to practice. And thank you for everyone who joined me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. And thank you to our beautiful sunsets.